Okay, this is Rick again. We're going to look at example number three, where we're going to combine some of the query information that we um, did earlier, earlier segment. If you didn't watch that, be sure to watch the query one. It'll assist you in, in what we're doing here. In fact, I'm going to go into the uh, query. Hold on just a moment. In the previous exercise, we did a example where we had a, a sales contest going on and we had salespeople um, doing tracking of the number of items that they had on sales orders. So it was going to add up that quantity for us automatically. And we did it by simply creating a query that started with the salesperson, showed their name, and then it went to the sales header and the sales lines and did a summation, right here's the summation, of the quantity and then it did some filters so only items and only open sales orders not uh, quotations were included in that in that total so that was defined previously when you run that and that's what we showed also previously when we run the uh, query it uh, in this case we only had two salespeople in our sample data John Roberts had 603 items and Peter uh, Sato had 393 and so maybe we would like to be able to keep track of that on a regular basis but in a chart format rather than in a tabular view here or sending it to Excel we want it to be an ongoing chart right on the roll center so we want to basically take this query and build a chart out of it so it's a fairly simple one but here's just basically two two fields with some columns so let's close that and we're going to go back to our role tailored client and simply go back to the departments menu where we've got our uh, charts in here and we're going to create query number let's see seven I'll stick it in right there five zero zero seven so we're going to just go new and this will be query Q five zero 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 seven we go and it will be sales uh, contest okay so we can see the results there and this type the source type is going to be the query rather than looking to a table it's going to look to the query that we've created and then we need to tell it the number of that query and so the one we had created was five if you remember it was this one right here 5003 in the user defined number range. So that is it. We don't need any filters. And again, remember, I always like to start with the x axis. So what am I going to put across the bottom? I want to actually have the names showing. Now I kind of get that one punched in and out of the way. And then up and down on the uh, y axis, what do I want to display? we want the uh, dollar amount so we want the quantity it's not dollars sorry it's quantities that they have on open sales orders so we just stick that in there now it already puts it as a sum so it knows that uh, already and I've got this set uh, graph type you know we could do we could do a column In fact, I think I'll do this twice we'll do once with a column do this fairly quickly so I'll just say okay and that's our query number seven if you do an f5 it'll show up on the list here so there it is let's go and drop it on our roll center so we can see it we'll just uh, change swap out this one so i'll go customize and the query that we want is this one sales contest that's the one i just created and now it shows that john roberts has 603 and 393 for peter sato that's exactly what we had on the um, on the query form itself so we basically now are just making it so that that query kind of runs in the background all the time and these numbers are updated as new uh, sales order lines are entered into the system so this graph is not fixed it is dynamically changing from the values within the query now you can display these um, a couple different ways that that's just a pretty much a column or kind of uh, form but let me switch and we'll come into uh, that sales contest one more time and instead of a column we might want to set it up as a pie chart okay just a simple switch like that say okay and then go back to our home page and it should be done 
So there it is. Now it shows as a pie chart. So depending on how you want to design your forms is all controlled <clears throat> through the uh, chart, kind of the chart wizard, chart generator uh, functionality. So again, I, I encourage you to do what you just saw me do here. Uh, go through the exercise, the previous exercise, if you haven't done that, to build your query. And then uh, display it here uh, on in, in the chart. So do that exercise now. And then we're going to go into um, our last exercise, number four. Okay, this is uh, example number four, the posted sales by location. So we want to take a look at our sales by location, and you can see this directly from the posted document. So if I go to the posted documents, you see I'm on posted sales invoices, and this is my list of posted sales invoices. And look, here's the location code showing. So basically, I want to get a total of these amounts here by the specific location. So all I really need is these two fields, location and the amount. But the problem is these amounts, again, are not hard numbers. Those are flow fields. And the only way that the generator, report generator, can handle those is if they come from a query which is constantly generating those numbers for the charts. All right, so what we have to do is literally create a query uh, on this information to uh, generate our, our chart. So let's do that uh, fairly quickly here. You can always stop the uh, video if you need to. I'm going to stick it right in here. Uh, this is under this one. You'll see I've got several I've been working on. But uh, 50,015 is where I'm going to stick it. Let's put a create a new one. The um, data item itself is going to be the uh, location. So we're going to start by location. So we need location. And below the location, we might as well show the code for location. So all we really need out of the location table is the code. Pretty simple there. And now the next related data item we're going to go and grab for those locations or sort under those locations is the uh, posted sales. And that is table 112, uh, the posted sales invoice header table. And the only field that I really need out of that table is the amount. So I'm going to come down, do this one a little differently than I did the previous one. So I'm just going to type um, AAA, there we go, amount. And we need to tell it that we need a total. So there's the total. That's pretty much it. So there's a very simple, oh, no, there is one more little thing. I've got to tell that these two are linked. So I'm just going to set the property fairly quickly here that says the um, we want the in the sales header, we want the location code to match to the location code in the location table. So I'm just going to type L for location. There it is. So location code has to match up to the location field code. There we go. So then any we could skip any that um, if we had any fields that don't match we'll we'll just skip those. Okay so that's enough there. That's all we need. I'm just going to save that and let's uh, we need to give it a number 50,015 I think I said. One five and we'll call this sales by location code. Something like that. Okay. So sales by location code. Let's just run it to be sure we're getting the values that we want. So we hit the run button down here. And notice what it's done. It's simplified it for us. Basically, this is what we want to chart. I'm basically generating, you see what I'm doing? I'm generating the data that I need for my chart by creating this query. That's all there is to it. I'm creating 
a data set in the query that gives me the exact data that I want to basically run a chart against and see this in a chart format. Pretty straightforward. Okay, so I've got my, and this will change. This will constantly be changing as new sales go into the system, and the chart, therefore, will be constantly changing. It's just reading those tables. It's kind of a real-time environment here. So let's close the query for right now, and then we'll go back to our role-tailored environment, and we're going to create our new um, uh, query, to our, our new chart to uh, display it. And let's pick a number here. So that was query uh, 15. We'll just use that same number. Makes it simple. So I'm going to say new. And it's going to be Q50015. And we'll call this sales by location. OK. And now the source type is going to be query. And the source ID, what query do we want to use? You got to tell it which one you want, which is that one I just made right here, sales by location code. Often they're spelled similar or something close to it. Okay, do I want any filters? No, I really want everything that we showed there, so I don't need to filter this. Again, I start with my x axis. What do I want across the bottom of the, um, of the, grid I want the codes okay so I just put that in there so the codes are going to be across the bottom and then up and down on the left side is going to be the sum amounts pretty straightforward and let's just keep it simple as a columnar kind of code you can put in fancy descriptions uh, table descriptions and so forth I'm just going to say save it and so now I've got right here on my list sales by location um, remember that number five zero zero one five and now pretty straightforward we're just going to drop it in here on our form just to check it out this is a good way to check your work so we want that uh, query that we just created uh, sales by location number 15 so I say OK and there it is so you see the yellow location, uh, 417,000 outstripping all these other locations. Uh, and, you, and what's interesting when you display information in a chart format, and that's why you do these things, is see how much easier it is to understand the numbers. That's what this is all about, is understanding the numbers. And my point to you, and especially if you're evaluating NAV software, um, understand everything I'm doing here is totally user definable you don't have to rely on a VAR or a reseller or a consultant to come in and do this I encourage you as a user of the software learn what I just showed you how to do here and create your own charts with exactly the information that you want to display uh, but start with the samples that I've given you here I've given you enough information to get started redo what I've just done and it will build your confidence so that you can do your own. I hope you've liked it. Again, my name was Rick Baxter, Cost Control Software out of Carmel, Indiana. Thank you so much.